Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, we've already spoken about NSE tools and NSE PY to get the live data. Today I'm going to show you the third library, which is Yahoo Finance. Again, we can use it to get historical data. We can use it to get even option chain. So let's see how that works. The first thing obviously is we'll have to install the library. So to install the library, what you have to do is pip install Y Finance. Let's run it. And then once we have got the installation done, we'll import it. So import Y Finance as YF and we'll make our ticker. So NSEI is equal to YF dot ticker. And then the way you put the ticker name for Nifty is you put the, the symbol which is above let the letter six and then put NSEI. And once you print out NSEI, it will show you that your ticker object is ready. Now we can go ahead and get the historical data. So to get the historical data, all we have to do is hist is equal to NSEI dot history. And now we can put in what period you want. So let's say the period is one month. And let's print out history. And this is how you get your Nifty data. So you have your OHLC along with volumes. And obviously there are no dividends and stock splits in Nifty. Once we have got that, we can even find out what has what are the important parameters like today open and yesterday close. To do that, you'll do NSEI dot major underscore holders. Um, and once you do that, it will give you the today open and the yesterday close along with the volume. And similarly, I can find the 52 week range as well. So for that, I'll have to do NSEI dot institutional underscore holders. And this gives me the 52 week range. So this is how you can get in important information about Nifty. Let's do something similar for a stock like Infi. So stock is equal to YF dot ticker and Infi. And let's try to see some information about the options. So stock dot options and let's print out options. So what it will give you is it will give you all the different expiries um, which are currently available uh, for uh, for NP. Apart from that, let's talk about the historical data. So data is equal to stock dot history. And again, same as above, we'll put the period is equal to let's say one year this time. And let's print out data. So once we do that, you will get the entire data. Again, you'll get the OHLC volume and the, again, the stocks and dividends and the stock split for Infi. Um, we can even find out what were the important um, corporate actions that were taken. So to get that, you can do stock actions. So this is the corporate actions. So stock dot actions. And once you run that, it will tell you that um, on 31st May, there was a dividend and on 27th October, there was again a dividend. So this is a very important information and similarly instead of doing corporate actions you can directly do stock dot dividends which will tell you the dividends directly also so again you get the dividends value here and if you want the final thing if we want to find more details let's say of, of the financials or the option chain what we have to do is stock dot option underscore chain and all we have to give the input is the time the date so let's put 2023 um, 21st April 2023 and let's run it and you'll get all the information um, of uh, different um, uh, what are the last trade dates what are the different strikes that it has um, and what is our LTP so everything about the option chain uh, along with the implied volatility open interest so basically whatever you whatever information that you find on on the option chain for both calls and puts that is readily available and this is very important especially if you're doing any strategy which requires you to use um, open interest or implied volatility. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, um, please don't forget to like it and do subscribe to our channel so that you can get more information about how to use Python um, in your trading careers. Thank you.